Well, at uh, 10 hours and 40 minutes into the 11th day of May, it is time for another unpackaging and somewhat the beginning, well, not for another couple hours, of a 24-hour day. What happens is, is that there, there are certain conditions when, uh, when you think a lot, when a large chunk of your work is in your mind. This is writing or anything that's creative, anything that requires some degree of thought or a certain degree of thought. Um, you get into this this sort of uh, physical condition where your body is sort of teetering, teetering on the edge of exhaustion. And what I do is I do something known as a 24-hour burnout. So this is what's going on now. This is a 24-hour burnout. Uh, it's like those 24-hour challenges, but this is a burnout. The whole goal is to make your body so tired that it sleeps for an entire day. In other words, so you, you're you awake for 24 hours and you almost, you're sleeping for 24 hours. So uh, that's what's going to happen. So basically... I won't be going to bed until like 6 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. So it's Tuesday now. On Wednesday at 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, maybe even later. That's when I'll be going to back back to bed. Uh, once again, though, I'll be going into my dreams and working there. But anyways, as I said, we do have a package opening. This was rather easy to open. I didn't need a... Uh, <coughs> The scissors, and what has come in are oh, more shorts. This is what I ordered: a more, more shorts. I like the pair that I had so much that I ordered more of them, and so I have enough now for the summer. I don't like when I close tight, so I like them loose, and so this is this will be these will be a good pair of shorts to wear. Uh, it's the color that I like. I like these colors. So yay for that. I'm just going to tie them up a bit. So this the the string doesn't slip through. <clears throat> All you have to do is put knots at the end where it goes into the cloth, into the uh, clothing itself. And uh, with the knots, uh, I don't know if you can see it like this. There's a knot here. Here we go. There's the knot. Uh, that makes it too large, it will not go into uh, the waistline, and you have a good pair of shorts that uh, where the string won't uh, disappear, disappear or come out on you. So, anyways, that's good. I'm now my my summer clothing is now complete. I was. Uh, <laughs> In a word to say, in a pun sort of type of thing, I was short on shorts. So, I will see you uh, in the next segment. While we are at our next point in our burnout stage, uh, for the 24 hours, it is just a little afternoon. It's uh, 12 hours and 11 minutes into the 11th day. We will be going until... Basically, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, uh, Wednesday morning, that will be the full 24 hours. So, this is the next point. It's our. This is where we do the gaming and meditation. Uh, I have some of the gaming to do uh, right now. It will be about half hour, 45 minutes uh, for the gaming. Have some lunch. Actually, some breakfast. Uh, and then uh, head off to my parents' house. Uh, to do some work over there, and then uh, uh, probably be back here around uh, 10, 11, 
uh, tonight. That's uh, close to 12 hours later. And then we'll have another uh, basically 12 hours uh, to uh, walk, do a, a very long, very lengthy YouTube stroll. So we'll do that and see how that ends up working out. Anyways, uh, let's keep it short here for now because there's nothing much more to say because we are in our burnout mode and uh, we'll continue on from there. Well, I got back about an hour ago from my parents, uh, my scooter, so I'm trying to sort of figure, sort of sit down and figure out uh, how I'm going to do uh, the splitting of the vlog, uh, when I should split it, but uh, I'll have to sit down at my editing desk, see what type of content I have, and then uh, make a decision on when and how to split the uh, vlog from, uh, the ride vlog from the main vlog. Anyways, uh, we are... Uh, just about 12 hours into our day, and we have another 12 hours left to go. So this is going to be a 24-hour day push. It's, gonna, it's known as a 24-hour burnout. This is for people who really don't get a lot of sleep on a regular basis, and you feel very fatigued. And for sometimes when you go to bed, even though you are fatigued, uh, you can't sleep. And large, lar largely due to the fact that uh, a large your body is is probably wired still, even though uh, you are uh, tired, you have a degree of exhaustion, but the body is still nonetheless wired. And so, what do you do to burn out that adrenaline? You do a 24-hour burn, and that's what I'm going through now. I'm going through a 24-hour burn. That way, I will be able to sleep easily uh, around 11 o'clock in the morning. And I'll get a sounder sleep than I would have gotten uh, if I had done anything else. So, uh, and I say sounder because, again, don't forget I'm a lucid dreamer. And so the work continues when I'm in, in the dream mode. The, the, the realities that occur here are fundamentally, not really fundamentally different, but you can't record them. <laughs> you record the realities here, but you can't record the realities in sleep. The behaviors are now at the point where I behave and react the same way to things that are in the dream that I do over here. Uh, there is still a little more concern that I have to work on. There are things that uh, are doing very well, things that are sort of uh, uh, problematic. There are still issues that are problematic um, uh, within the dream world, but I am working on them. But I don't think they'll ever... The, it, my behavior will ever be perfect and become a perfect person. That's not partially not the goal. The goal is to be as selfless as you possibly can. As you become selfless, as the ego starts to diminish, you begin to see more and more. The capacity to see more and more is there. And this, this allows me to continue on in terms of my research, my observation, but also in a spiritual sense uh, to move into uh, what we call better territory uh, in terms of my relationship with God, in terms of my relationship with the uh, spiritual nature of the universe. Uh, in that sense, in that direction. Uh, and the thing is, is that there, as I said, there is a common overlap between uh, what you see in the East and the Eastern part of Christ Eastern part of Christianity. And this Eastern part of Christianity is, is relatively unknown to the West. The West is focused on laws. It's all about law, but, well, basically crime and punishment. This is why I recommend people to go read uh, Dostoevsky, because Dostoevsky writes very heavily on crime and punishment. He, 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 the, this was the, 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 the ethos that came into the 1800s that produced sort of the intellectual movement. Came on out of a social engineering movement, how to deal with uh, the issues, the behavior issues, surrounding some of the what they call the lower class people and even into the upper class people in terms of how the difference between a peasant behaved as opposed to how a gentle person or a gentleman behaved. Uh, the, these were the codes of chivalry. These were the codes of, of knighthood. These were a, a number of different codes uh, that sort of set and marked the, uh, the, the, the standard of eth ethics the ethics of the time. 
uh, one under the society often reflects the direction that religion is going in. And this time, the religions uh, from the West, uh, from 1000 A.D., have gone into a very, a very uh, tribal sense. They became very tribal, very law-oriented, where the, the rule was top-down, the rule was absolute. And this is uh, 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 how people sort of interacted with the upper classes, and the upper classes all took their positions based on the, 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 the imperial... Imperial standards, and so this became something of a standard that re reached into towns. And by the 1800s, you start seeing the emergence of what we call the middle class, uh, and you start seeing how there is a shift in European civilization that hadn't been there before. That became more focused on civilization, less on sort of the peasantry at the time. This was also the period of time where all, well, prior to the 1800s, slavery was standard. In the 1800s, you had to move away from slavery into other forms of servitude in, well, uh, what was called serfdom. Uh, but the serfdom didn't necessarily be, weren't necessarily slaves. Again, they, 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 they treaded sort of a boundary territory, a gray area, where you had the serfs who were off, prior to that were, were slaves, the serfs were slaves, gone into a new situation where their classification was sort of on the line of servant and slave. They had some freedoms but they didn't that, that a slave wouldn't have, but then they didn't have the complete freedom that a free person would have had. But then again, you look at the economic situation, the economic realities, and one would have to question, have to ask the question: Well, what would, what would have been the options at that particular point in time? And Dostoevsky gives you a good picture into this. He, he is an excellent window into various different behaviors, various different uh, moral ethics, uh, how people chose their morality. And so, if you want to do a study in morality, is Dostoevsky is the direction you would go in, and. It becomes quite well. the The read of those gifts is not an easy one. Uh, they they write in, in in significant detail, and so it take you about if you started now, it take you about two and a half years to get through the works of Dostoevsky to really get a, so, a good solid background in terms of what was said, what it, how it reflects on today's uh, society, and, and and so on and so forth. So. Anyways, uh, these are the things I've been thinking about. This is what I talked about on my way back uh, on my road vlog. And I'm heading off to do the YouTube stroll. Uh, it's going to be vlogging for the next 12... Uh, 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 watching vlogs for the next 12 hours. Well, it is now into the 12th of May. It is 1 hour and 37 minutes into the 12th day of May. We're doing our 24-hour burn, and we're just at. We were just just finishing our first pit stop. Uh, we finished off at um, uh, our family nest after uh, going to Five Family Vlogs, and now we are on the side path of uh, Five Family Vlogs. Uh, family Five Vlogs, I think it is like that. When it's this late and you're starting to burn out, then uh, remembering what you're doing is kind of difficult. Anyways, uh, I made myself uh, a, po a pour or tea, a uh, Chinese tea um, that I do a cold brew with. I made a uh, smoothie out of it uh, with half tea, half milk, uh, one banana, about eight strawberries, handful of goji berries uh, with cocoa powder and sugar all mixed into a carafe like that and I'm going to drink that now as I watch and continue on with uh, my uh, YouTube stroll. It's kind of like going around visiting visiting people for a bit. You know, you get a 15-20 minute visit. You get to see their place. You get to see what they're doing. 
Uh, that's the kind of reason why I like vlogs. If you if a person if you're a per type of person who likes reality shows, and then a vlog is something that is very nice to watch. It's, it's interesting. You find that in many cases you see how different people interact, different families interact with each other, different personalities, and uh, it's something that's uh, rather enjoyable. So on with the fun and festivities. We have. Uh, Let's see, uh, 1 o'clock to 11 is 10 hours. We have 9.5 hours left to go. Well, the 24-hour challenge failed. But anyways, we do have a package opening. So let's get right to that. So let's see what's here. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's a battery charger, like I had before, but <clears throat> we'll have to see how this works. Anyways, uh, back to bed. Well, it is uh, 18 hours and 41 minutes into the 12th day of May. Uh, it was supposed to be 24 hours, but the thing is, is that I don't have a day or a night. So, 24 hours is kind of useless, but <laughs> anyways, uh, I went enough to uh, burn myself out. I did the, I did the burnout. Uh, I'm back here doing the YouTube stroll. I just fin uh, I have uh, already watched the Yowie Vlogs. I'm now at It's Our Life. There's a second one to watch at It's Our Life. I... Uh, Upgraded my cell phone plan. I did that for a couple. That took me a couple hours to do. And then I upgraded my. Let me get this done here. I upgraded my uh, lock screen wallpaper. I've got a new wallpaper that I'll eventually put out on on, on TikTok uh, on uh, both TikTok and um, and uh, uh, Instagram. It's been, so far, it's been a pretty good day, very productive uh, in terms of what I have gotten done. I did uh, about an hour's worth of gaming, and I still have, uh, a uh, in terms of QLARP, I still have another couple hours left to do today. So I don't think I'll be finishing any time before maybe 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. So it's going to be a long push. <laughs> so... Uh, now I'm off to the kitchen. I'm going to be making uh, another uh, batch of uh, uh, poor tea. I got my shopping done for uh, for the day. The shipment just came in. Uh, one of the things I got I like in here a lot are these uh, corn chips. They're about a dollar fifty a bag, so I think they're pretty good. I'm now going to have my uh, East-West Fusion Pizza Sandwich. Uh, after I make the tea. One of the reasons why 24-hour vlogging, the 24-hour challenges don't work for me, is I don't have a day and I don't have a night. And this will kind of, uh, this section segment of the vlog, will kind of illustrate why. It is 2 hours and 37 minutes into the 13th day of May it is Thursday and I went to bed uh, around uh, uh, 22 hours or 10 o'clock at night on the 12th just around midnight mid, uh, uh, 1230 I got up uh, I did some meditation I did some gaming and I'm um, just now coming back to bed uh, just about two and a half hours later. Uh, the gaming and the meditation take that long. I had some water, uh, a banana, and some uh, uh, chocolate chips. And that's my, uh, we'll call it midnight fuel. Uh, it gets me through the rest of uh, the rest periods uh, uh, 
um, body reconstruction, because I said before, that's when the body repairs itself. And I give myself Wednesday as a day to try to rest. And the thing is, is that the, the body doesn't rest for too long before it wakes up again. And so, uh, it is not, it, it, the 24-hour challenges don't work for me. Is because my body is in a state of sleep deprivation almost on a continuous basis or very close to it. You really can't push yourself beyond uh, what your body is already doing. And so right now, uh, the entire week is like one long day. I mean, in other words, uh, I get rest periods throughout the week, uh, but uh, not much more. I don't have a night of sleep. And if you don't have a night of sleep, then you can't do the 24-hour challenge because you have no night and you have no day. It shifts depending on the amount of work that you have to get done and, ha and you have to do. Uh, and this includes a large chunk of the studying, um, uh, the research that has to be done, particularly if you're in a deep dive and I'm in getting into uh, new areas now. So uh, it's going to take... a a fair bit more time to uh, to deal with all the issues uh, that pop up as you continue to study as you go as you continue to go into the the deeper dive. But the thing is that things are moving along. Things it's a lot like the game uh, Lords Mobile, where you have to things take a fair bit of time. They're not instant, and you sort of have to wait and see how things end up developing before you can actually move ahead. Uh, <laughs> so, it the, the they occur in time, and sort of the, this is sort of like the slow trudge, the, 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 the uh, it's a, a slow walk. When the body's fatigued, you haven't gotten to the final point yet, and you know you've got a fair, way, fair bit of way away, this is sort of something from hiking, uh, you put yourself into a meditative state so that you continue walking almost as an automatic function. The, the movement forward becomes automatic and not necessarily thought of or, or being or, or, or being focused on. It's something part of the uh, normal environment in terms of uh, how you function and operate. And so uh, this is... Uh, where we are now, this is how things are moving along. This is as uh, as, it, as the uh, road vlogs move off into their own their own uh, vlog itself. It's our life on the road, and um, that's our gonna that's gonna be our road vlog. We haven't split it off just yet. Wow! By the time you see this, you're, it's gonna be split off. Uh, basically. I'll be doing, I'm doing this, uh, the, when we get to the May 1st publishing date, we're going to finish off April with the road vlogs inside It's Our Life, uh, our, our Life of Cyborg Alpha, and then the, Our Life of Cyborg, the road vlogs will split off as Our our uh, Life on the Road will be the uh, road vlog, so we'll have uh, two, uh, two uh, uh, vlogs to take a look at in terms of, uh, um, whew, in terms of Cyborg Alpha.